All right, so today we're talking about bearing cleaning. Seeing if we can get these sad boys to roll again. So ever since Jamie Foy said something about Windex on the Nine Club, this kind of interested me because I wanted to try this because I've always done it with brake clean, like brake cleaner for like cars. I wanted to try both and see which one's better. So I've already taken baseline numbers for all of these and like how long they spin. We're gonna do it by length. But now we just pretty much have to pop them out, pop the seals and put them in the stuff. So we're gonna do that. All right, so the first one we're gonna do is the Windex. I have this fancy cleaner. I've actually owned one for a long time. This one's just brand new. But uh, we're gonna get started here. Spacer bearing. Spacer bearing. Now we're gonna do the brake clean. Normally I have bulk stuff, but since I'm going to be doing this at home today, I just got a can from AutoZone. It's not super expensive, but uh, make sure you get the non-chlorinated stuff. They also say not to use anything with uh, toluene in it, but I've never had a problem using brake clean, so I guess we'll see. Another thing to remember is when you're spraying brake clean, make sure you have a window open and you're in a well-ventilated area. The stuff will make you nauseous, so just fair warning. And this stuff's a bit more harsh, so we're also only gonna do 10 minutes here. Look at how much cleaner the brake clean compared to the Windex. So after running all of the numbers and getting everything together, basically I just did everything based on how long each thing would spin. This isn't perfect, uh, a lot more like spins and a better method would probably be a bit more accurate, but this is what I got. This right here, this is the spin length before cleaning, this is the spin length after cleaning, this is the type of cleaner that was used for each set. That is for the Windex. This is brake clean. So just looking at it, um, each points have 20 different uh, spins essentially, um, and two different wheels and two different sets of bearings are associated with each data, each data group. So looking at that, this is the dirty averages. These are the clean averages. This is the improvement upon the original, and this is the high improvement upon the original. So as you can see, the brake clean did a significantly better job um, with a 30% increase, and I don't know if this is just exaggerated because my data set's small or not, but on the high average, it was a 66% increase. So obviously I could do this for six months with a bunch of different kinds of bearings and just be spinning bearings all day, but basically what this is telling me from the jump is that, you know, I got a better clean out of brake clean this time. Before cleaning, the Windex bearings had a nine and a half second spin average. That's all of these averaged. The cleaning after that is a 10 second average, which means we only got about a half a second of improvement out of that or 5%. That's what this is explaining. The high average is explaining the same thing. So we got quite a big chunk of a difference out of the brake clean, but at what cost? I don't know how damaging brake clean is to bearings. I've never had a huge problem. I've had 
bearings explode for no reason before, but I've also cleaned bearings and had them never explode. Do this, do with this what you will. It looks like I'm gonna be using brake clean to clean my bearings still, but this was just an interesting experiment, I think. Another thing I did notice was uh, the Windex bearings were significantly dirtier and that prevented rust. So I didn't record these two bits on the same day and I didn't take the rolling averages on the same day. In fact, if you look at the brake clean ones, I got significantly lower numbers the first handful of times I rolled them. I think they had a little bit of uh, break-in to do, but I do think a little bit of lubrication would be good. Maybe a dry lube. I don't think a wet lube would do you any good. I am in the camp that uh, uh, raw bearings are way better and any amount of lubrication you add is obviously just going to attract dirt and it's all going to stick and you're going to end up doing this more often. You're Most of us don't clean our bearings anyway. Me personally, what I typically do, if I don't feel like the whole set needs to be cleaned just because they're really, really rough and I just bought them, I usually just throw them into like a spare parts kit. If somebody has a bearing explode or you have, I have a cage crack or something that just makes your board almost unrideable, you're not gonna be off the session because you gotta go to the skate shop and find bearings and stuff. If you found anything in this video helpful, drop me a like, drop me a sub, it helps a lot, and I'll see you in the next one.